Welcome to the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. We discuss five questions in about 10 minutes because leaders know how to be concise. I am very excited to welcome our guest, Eunice, today. And Eunice is the CEO of VFairs. Eunice, what would you like the people to know about VFairs? Sean, VFairs is a leading virtual event platform. So imagine of uh, imagine you going to a physical event. Uh, we help you run any physical event, uh, but in an online environment. Uh, so be it be a, a job fair, a conference, a trade show, an open day, a benefits fair, uh, different organizations throughout the world come to us to run uh, their physical event online uh, through, uh, through, through VFairs technology. Wow. So have you been uh, very busy the last year? Uh, we have been, yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine. That is a great format. Thank you for sharing, sharing uh, your, your background on that. All right, well, let's jump to our questions. Our first question, share with the audience a, an example of, a collab of collaboration within a team. Sean, actually, uh, the VFIR started as a collaboration, uh, you know, as a result of team, right? So when I graduated from the university, I used to participate in actual physical job fairs, trying to connect with employers. Uh, in many cases, I and my, you know, my, my other team members, we used to wait in line for hours just to connect with the employer and have that two minute conversation with them. And there would always be this one guy who would consume 30 minutes of an employer uh, for us just to only get our two or three minutes having that chat with the recruiter. Uh, so we, we figured out there has to be a better way uh, as a candidate to connect with employers in an actual job fair. Uh, that's when we all thought that, you know what, let's come up uh, with an online job fair environment where we all get the benefit of what we typically look in a physical job fair, but remove all the hassles, inefficiencies that runs in a physical event. So yeah, came together with this online job fair uh, idea uh, launch VFairs and overnight it was a success. This, this was something that uh, everyone, uh, everyone benefited, whether it was a candidate, employers, or the event organizer. That is awesome. So congratulations to you and your team for the collaborative effort to get it this far. That's fantastic. Question number two, I hear from other leaders of teams that it can be a challenge to measure engagement. Tell me your thoughts. Sean, sure, I think it depends on uh, it depends on where you are as an organization. Uh, I can imagine in this uh, in this world where companies are starting uh, being remote first, uh, and as you are growing the team, it might be difficult for a new employee to really uh, be fully engaged in just purely online world. Uh, right now, those corridor conversations that used to happen in an office. How can you replicate that? How can you give that confidence to a newcomer that they can really express their opinion in an online world? Uh, so culture is really important in this world right now. Uh, you know, many companies who have moved from a physical office to an online one might already have that culture, but many companies who are starting brand new uh, need to give that confidence to every new joiner who's out there. Uh, so it, it is very easy if you do that. And, and what I really recommend uh, new CEOs who are starting their companies now is to have that daily huddle and weekly meeting as a manager with your team. And every manager has to do that with their respective team. And in that one-to-one -one conversation between you and your employee, spend a bit of time trying to get them know personally. Have a little bit of side chit chat that is outside uh, you know, your work conversation because that will give them the confidence to learn a bit more about the culture of the company that you're trying to build in and then give them that confidence to be fully engaged in this online world. So mm -hmm. it can be a bit hard for new organizations, but it's the job of a manager to really uh, give that confidence to every new employee of theirs to be fully engaged uh, without, without having uh, to worry about it, how their opinion will be taken. Wow, those are great comments because you really do nail that that idea. I really like what you said, especially at the end there about your managers needing to help build that confidence within, especially new members, 
who are probably a little bit shy and aren't quite sure what to say yet or if they if they can even share ideas. So I loved what you shared there. That was great information. Thank you. Question number three, based on your experience, what is one essential attribute of a confident leader? Sean, I would, uh, I would say it's always knowledge, right? Uh, mm -hmm. See, if you have knowledge about the problem that you're trying to solve, uh, that will always come up in your conversation. Uh, be it the knowledge about the industry you are in, uh, be it the knowledge about the problem that you're trying to solve, uh, be it the knowledge that you're trying to, uh, it's, it's a skill that you're trying to teach your uh, uh, team members. Uh, in, in many cases, knowledge uh, uh, about something, about the problem that you want to solve will give confidence to a leader, try to persuade whoever they're trying to address, right? Uh, so I always recommend manager that you have to pick, you know, other than having a lot of skill set, uh, in one area you have to be the most knowledgeable within your team, just because that will inspire uh, really uh, the true leadership and will will let people look up to you because they would see you as someone who can help them in a certain area. Uh, mm -hmm. So again, whoever whoever is you know out there trying to be uh, trying to trying to know everything but try to become master of at least one skill set because the kind of confidence it will give you in your own vertical uh, is just going to be unmatched within the company in many cases within the industry itself. Mm. Great ideas, great ideas. Thank you for sharing those. Question number four, is there someone that you would like to recognize or is there an experience you've had where someone has made a difference in your life? Sean, uh, yeah, I, I think, see, uh, the, the kind of world we live in, uh, and especially if you are a CEO of, of such a remote organization, uh, your success is literally dependent on each and every team member out there. Every single day, uh, I would say, whether it's VFair's customers or VFair's employees, uh, you know, as a CEO of a company, you are so much dependent on them, uh, on their feedback, on their performance, uh, for, for them to really give their A game every single day, that they would make a, a difference in our life. And every single day, I, I see that. I see, you know, how uh, even in this environment where people are working from home, uh, there has to be a lot of trust out there uh, for them to perform uh, to their A game, right? Uh, I, I would say each one of them, especially in the past one year, has, a, has made a big difference in our life. We as an organization went from literally 30 people to 250 plus people over a period of 12 months. And we wouldn't have been able to do it uh, unless we actually kind of, kind of count on each one of them literally blindly that, you know what, you should be doing what you're supposed to do without having to look at your shoulder. And I, I would say that each one of them have made a big difference in my life and all of, the, all of our customers' life. Wow, thank you for recognizing your employees. I think that's fantastic that you recognize them as having made a difference in your life. So thank you for recognizing them. Our last question, tell us about your first job. Yeah, my, my first job was with IBM in Austin, Texas uh, in the US. Uh, I was a QA engineer over there. Uh, and, and 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 I think in most cases uh, it was it was a it, it was a it was a job that really made me the person I am today. Uh, uh, you know, my, you know, my my managers over there taught me one thing: that while you are doing your job as a quality assurance engineer, what's really important for you is really know, to know the end-to-end -end cycle. Why is someone buy this product? How they buy it? The amount of effort it takes us to build that particular product all the way when it comes to quality assurance, how it gets shipped, and what's the feedback of our customers about this particular product. And again, you know, I, I think anyone who's in any role, I always encourage them, while you should be expert in the job function that you're in, try to always see things uh, at a bigger picture. Try to go through a full customer life cycle and a product life cycle. Because the moment you do that, you realize that the, by the time a customer comes to you or a product comes to you, there are hundreds and thousands of hours that are being spent by various people. And now it's on you to really do your 100% to really you know, uh, make it a success. So I think just, just those suggestions by managers in IBM were, were really, I think, a gold uh, when it comes to me launching my own product and, and you know, helping VFairs very just today. 
Wow, those are great comments. I really like that that idea of taking the entire life cycle, even though you only have this little piece, to really understand the full life cycle, to have that curiosity to learn about the entire process. That is a great insight. Thank you for sharing that. And Eunice, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. How can people find you? Sean, they can, uh, anyone can connect me on LinkedIn. Uh, so my, uh, my LinkedIn URL is linkedin.com slash ion slash Eunice. Uh, Y-O-U-N-A-S, that's my last name. Uh, if you'll go on LinkedIn, uh, look at me, uh, Muhammad Yunus, uh, VFairs, uh, you know, you should be able to find me. And then anyone can reach me by email also. My email address is uh, my last name, which is Yunus, Y-O-U-N-A-S, at vfairs.com. Happy to connect with anyone who would like to learn more about vfairs and uh, in any way we can assist them. Great. Thank you. This is Sean Richards with the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. For more ideas, go to teamengagementpodcast.com. Again, teamengagementpodcast.com. And we also encourage you to subscribe to the podcast as well as the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining us today and have a great day.